Tonight, a 14-year-old boy is dead after drowning at Melanie Lake Swim and Event Park in Uniontown late last week. He was on a football outing with classmates when it happened. Brandon Simmons spoke with the team's principal about this young man as investigators work to find out exactly what went wrong. A day that was supposed to be all about fun and team building ended in tragedy. A 14-year-old boy drowned Thursday afternoon while swimming with friends at Melanie Lake Swim and Event Park in Uniontown. It's so sad. So sad. Touche Pope was an incoming freshman at Akron's early college high school. He was on a football outing with classmates when the incident happened as he aspired to make the team this fall. Today, he's being remembered for being an intelligent leader amongst his peers. He was a leader uh, in any way that you look at it, whether it's through academic, through sport. He was a true, true leader. He was well respected not only by the kids, but by the staff in the building. Um, Mom and dad were so supportive of him. Police and the school district are investigating the incident to determine what went wrong. A witness account posted online says the boys were swimming in the deep end near the diving boards when someone yelled that Touche was drowning. That same witness account also critical of the lifeguard response, saying they weren't around. While at the swim park today, our cameras also found lifeguard chairs empty in the area where the incident reportedly occurred. Melanie Lake's managing partner sent his condolences to Touche's family and released a statement saying in part, at the time of the accident, we had five lifeguards on duty. We take all safety measures possible, including meeting state regulations and maintaining current appropriate permits, end quote. Regardless of the circumstances, it's another young life gone too soon in the Akron community. He was an awesome young man that had a bright future ahead of him. Now, again, police and the school district are continuing to investigate this incident, trying to understand exactly what happened in the water. We also do know that grief counselors are being made available to those who need help coping with this news. In Uniontown, I'm Brandon Simmons, 3 News.